That was The Pretenders. That's an imported item. There'll be a stateside album out, due, due out soon. And the tune was called The Wait, but the wait is over for you, babies, because the doctor is taking calls on the big KRP giveaway contest. The two final pair of tickets are yours for that big concert tonight. If you can complete this sentence correctly, are you ready? Caller number one, disco is... Fun. Wrong. <laughs> Caller number two, disco is... Uh, heaven. You people are way on. <laughs> Caller number three, you're on. Disco is hell. You got it, my man. <laughs> and what is your name, sir? Wayne Kluge. Why? Oh. <laughs> well, Wayne, you just won two free tickets to that big show tonight. Uh-huh. Now, you can pick up those tickets anytime before 4 o'clock this afternoon for our lovely receptionist, Jennifer, okay? Oh, boy, where do I pick them up? Well, you have to come down to the station to get them, Wayne. Just look it up in the phone book, okay? KRP time is 9.43, and everybody in town is getting ready for that big concert tonight at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, we've got to keep rocking, babies, so let's dip you into the doctor's bag and see who's in there. Bye. How's your morning, Johnny? Weird as usual. Oh, I got another winner. Mm -hmm. Kluge. Got it. Yep. Uh, Bailey. Yep. Uh, I know you probably think that a personable, hip DJ like myself has a date for the show tonight. Yes. Let's not beat around the bush, okay? I'm sorry, Johnny, but I'm already going with somebody else. You could have beaten around the bush a little longer. <laughs> Who's the guy? Oh, he's a manic, depressive divinity student who has a serious drinking problem. <laughs> Sounds like Father Fun. Yes, <laughs> he is. <laughs> what is Father Fun supposed to mean? Nothing, Bailey. It's just a joke. Seriously, Johnny, he's a very generous, heavily sedated man who happens to like to help others. <laughs> Besides, you could have asked me last week. Well, last week, I was heavily sedated. <laughs> I don't know, Les. What do women want? <laughs> Tupperware. Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. KRP Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking From town to town, up and down the dial Maybe you and me were never meant to be Just maybe think of me once in a while I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati Your hot tea with lemon. Oh, wonderful. Oh, and here, I want you to put this on. I beg your pardon? Put this mask on. What's that? Well, this is my European aqua pack. Good Lord, Jennifer, what's that supposed to do? Well, it surrounds the eyes with comforting warm water, alleviating clogged nasal passages, tired and puffy eyes, hangovers, and other head discomforts. Huh. All that. Uh-huh. Now, here we go. Huh. Oh, 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 my word, oh. How's that? Oh, oh, that's warm. Oh, and I can see, too. <laughs> oh. oh, and just to help you to forget about Mr. Dreary Winter, I brought you this wonderful travel magazine with color pictures of Hawaii, Pango Pango, and Tahiti, my personal favorite. Oh, you're just a gift from heaven, Jennifer. My pleasure. Now, you just keep this pack on. I, I will. I promise. Okay. I promise, yeah. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Kimasabi? <laughs> Cut it, Travis. I'm not well. Shall I ask about the mask? No. Okay. Travis, driving into work today, I listened to KRP. Why? <laughs> because I felt like it, that's why. And Andy, this doesn't sound like my station. Doesn't reflect my tastes. 
I don't like the music, and I'm not sure I understand it. Come on, we've been down this road many times before. Now, what's really the problem? Carmen's conned me into taking my son to that rock concert tonight. <laughs> I don't want to go. I think that's why I got sick. Oh, wait a minute, you and little Arthur are going to go to this rock concert? Yeah. I think that's terrific. No, I mean, I can't believe it. Really? You're going to go to a rock concert? <laughs> Just settle down, Travis. Maybe if this station hadn't been promoting that rock concert, my kid wouldn't have heard about it, and I wouldn't be taking him tonight. This station shouldn't promote any more rock concerts. Now, we're not promoting this concert. We're giving away free tickets for publicity. How do you think you got your tickets for tonight? How's it going to look, Travis, a grown man like me at a rock concert? What I'm saying to you, Travis, is that I just don't want to look bad. <laughs> Feel out of it, Travis. I remember the younger days when people used to get dressed up to go out and hear a live band, like Tommy Dorsey, Duke Ellington. Come on, now the music might be different, but the spirit's the same. You're going to listen to a live band, and you're going to have fun. Well, I hope little Arthur has fun because he could be a miserable little wretch. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know that he's going to have a good time. Uh, he better have a good time. Uh, Mr. Carlson, before I leave, I owe it to myself to ask one more time. Why the mask? It's a European aqua pack. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, gang. Hi, Herb. You going to the big concert tonight? You kidding? And pollute my brains with drugs, loud music, and a lot of carefree sex in the aisles? No way. <laughs> know what you are talking about. I happen to be in the game, Bailey. The selling game, four tickets, 28 smacks. Some people call it scalping. I call it smarterino. Genius herb. Yeah? Yeah. They're only going for 50 a piece on the street. Mm-hmm. Could have made uh, 200 best ones, Herb. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew that. I was just testing you guys. <laughs> well, Billy, I think you've had enough time to change your mind, huh? Sorry, Johnny. A manic depressive divinity student with a drinking problem? Give me a break, Bailey. I drink. <laughs> yes, first. <laughs> Why don't you ask Les to go? Nesma? <laughs> Fairly bizarre. No. You know, you could ask Carlson. Oh, come on, Travis. I know my limits. Come on, it's his first concert. I want him to go with the season pro. You'd be doing me a favor. Why not you? Unlike you, I made myself a date weeks in advance. With whom, may I ask? Let's just say she's from Belgium, and I am pretty pleased. <laughs> well, here goes some pride. <laughs> Last. Les, are you in there? You know I am, John. Well, Les... Uh, are you free tonight? In the larger sense, are any of us free? I don't know, Les. I just wondered if you wanted to go to the concert with a free-willing, hip DJ like myself. You mean you, John? Well, yes, Les. Well, I'm very flattered, John. Well, good. And pleasantly shocked. <laughs> but I don't think so. Well, come on, Les. We'd have fun, somehow. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> well, it is true, John, that every once in a blue moon I like to veer off into something loose and uninhibited. Well, well great. Well, why don't we get together But not tonight. <laughs> I don't get you, Nesman. Just don't push it, John. I'm busy, all right? Excuse me. Well, I'm sorry. I just thought you might enjoy it. Well, I do appreciate the offer, John. It means a great deal to me. Well, I, I, I didn't mean to complicate your life, Les. I just wanted you to be happy. I am sorry, John. <laughs> I'll make it up to you somehow.
I feel like Les and I just broke up. All right, John, uh, I'll go with you. Thanks, Herb. Uh, it just doesn't feel right so soon after losing Les. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Hi, kids. Morning, Venus. Hey, Venus. Hey, that's a nice jacket, Venus. Hey, thanks, BQ. Yeah, what early worm brings the blackbird in? Oh, according to Andy, Venus has been invited to be the guest DJ to the concert tonight. No kidding. Well, a few years ago, I knew some of the guys in a band. So, so, he's being picked up in a yellow limo by ladies wearing tight satin jeans and sporting gold angle bracelets. The Lord is kind, John. <laughs> Who are you going with, man? So far, uh, Jennifer, Bailey, and Les have totally, without restraint, uh, just rejected me. Why don't I ride in that limo with you, huh? Oh, I couldn't put you through that, John. Sure you could. Oh, no, limos are not your style. Oh, come on, let me ride with you. I'll sit in the front, okay? John, there's some things a man has to face alone. This is definitely one of them. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have your attention, please? <laughs> I just want you all to know that you're excused early today so you can go to this thing tonight. Travis here tells me that we've got general admission seating, so you're gonna have to get there early to get a good seat. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> get back to work. <laughs> Who was that masked man? I don't know how you do it, though, Jennifer. I mean, what's the secret? Is it exercise or diet or what? Do what? Well, you know, pecan breakfast cake and butterscotch almond explosions. And... <laughs> you just never gain any weight. Well, it's simple. I don't like that, so it just leaves me alone. <laughs> What are you doing out here? Well, I'm just hanging out, copying some candy. I told you no more riffraff in the lobby. That's a new rule. Mr. Carlson, Johnny doesn't have anyone to go to the concert with. Okay, Fever, you can go with me. You really going? Yeah, with little Arthur. Little Arthur? Yeah. You can tag along if you like. Well, count me in. <laughs> Life continues to be a mystery. Mr. Carlson? Yeah? Two things. First of all, here are your tickets to the concert tonight. Oh, okay. Put them right in there. And don't forget to pick up little Arthur at his karate class. Oh, now, karate do class. you remember your way to the Coliseum? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Johnny, uh -huh. we're going to have to hurry along, pick up little Arthur, grab a couple of burgers, and get there in plenty of time to see the orchestra. Uh huh. Johnny. Hello. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Am I going to have a good time? Well, of course you are. Ah, good. <laughs> you going? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, I guess I'm ready, then. I don't think I am, Art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is that you're wearing on your head. It's a hat, John. Anybody no. Anybody can tell you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm talking about this disco bondage headgear. <laughs> I forgot all about that sucker. It felt so darn good. All right, how's that? <clears throat> great, just great. Now it looks like I'm going to see the Who in the company of a narc. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just can't believe it. I mean, 11 kids lose their lives. For what? Well, what do you expect of these things? What the hell does that mean, man? You ever been to a concert? No, sir. But you're going to get this when you got a, got a lot of teenagers crowded together and worked up by a lot of loud rock music. It's happened before the concert started, Herb. It just seems so unreal. I still don't believe it. I gave away tickets for the thing. Good morning. Oh, man, do I feel terrific today. Jennifer, you did it again. Cold of mine, right out of my head. Right into mine. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Venus. You know, I got a confession to make. I went to that rock concert last night thinking I was going to hate it, and I ended up having the best time. Mr. Carlson. Not now, Jennifer. I'm on a rock, a roll, or whatever it is. I'm on it. What's everybody got such a long face for? You didn't listen to our station this morning, did you? No. Mr. Carlson, I don't know how to tell you this. Uh, Eleven kids lost their lives last night at that concert. 
What are you talking about, Travis? Is this is some kind of bad joke? Sir, I wish it were. Well, I was there. I, I didn't see anything. None of us did. It happened before the concert started, Mr. Carlson. There was this large crowd outside the Coliseum. They'd been waiting there for hours and hours. It was very cold. Somebody inside decided to open some doors. There was some reserved seating. Mostly general admission. That's what they call festival seating. No, that's what they call a stampede. And that's what happened. The Who didn't even know what had come down until after the show. Excuse me. I, I don't feel so good. I only thought this kind of stuff happened at South American soccer games. It just seems like this type of thing has been a long time in coming. I was at a concert once in uh, Atlanta. General admission seating. Of course, everybody got there early so they could get down front close to the stage. And when the band was late and starting, everybody started pushing forward. Some of the kids were almost crushed against the stage. It's that damn general admission seating. This concert is just about my last. It's not the concerts themselves. Look, I'm going to go down to Snooky's bar. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'm in. Uh, John, can I go along with you? Sure. I know I sound like a jerk after what happened last Look, night. But... Travis, I'll be here bright and early tomorrow, OK? And ain't no way I'm going to miss my shift, man. Thank you, guys. Oh, I heard there was going to be a, a candlelight memorial service tonight uh, about 7 o'clock at Fountain Point. At Square, Les. Fountain Square. Yeah, Fountain Square. Thank you, John. And uh, I thought I'd go down, and uh, if any of you were interested, we could meet here about 6. Why don't we make it Snooky's, though? Sounds good to me, Kate. Okay. Uh, Venus, I want you to mention the memorial service on your show today. Matter of fact, we should mention this all day long. See you later. Right now, I'm a little worried about Mr. Carlson. Hard tell him what's going through his mind. This time tomorrow, we might be programming supermarket music. You all right, Bailey? You're almost a little too quiet. I'm fine. Thank you, Andy. I was just checking. Bailey, I know how upset you must be about all this. You probably don't want to hear this, but uh, we're newsmen. I mean, uh, newspersons. And we've got a story to cover here, a very important one. I don't know, Les. I, um, I feel so angry and um, sad and confused that I, uh, I don't think that I can handle this story. Well, I need you, Bailey. You were at the concert, and I wasn't. Look, if, if we work on this thing together, we can handle it better than any other station, local or national. I don't know. Sure we can. You think so? Yes. I don't know. We can, Bailey. Yeah? Yeah. Look, it'll be just like Holmes and Watson. No, or, um, no, I mean, uh, Woodward and Bernstein. <laughs> Bernstein. <laughs> um, Bernstein and, uh, Barbara Walters. That'd be a pair. <laughs> Here's your coat. Come on. What do you say? I <clears throat> say, let's kick butt and get that story, okay, Nesman? Okay, Waters. The light of day now fades, and the evening curtain falls over the sky. People are gathering over at Fountain Square with candlelight and remembrance of friends lost in the night. Be there, okay? And now here's a little mellow softness from Brother Bill Evans. Something entitled, Remembering the Rain. Ooh. 
Sorry. No problem. I guess this is a day for being sorry. From my window there, you can see Fountain Square. It's already lit up with candles. You going? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going to meet everybody over at Snooky's. Ah, oh, Venus, I feel so ashamed. We publicized that concert, gave away tickets. I was there when it happened, enjoying myself. We all were. You know what really gets me? You can't do anything about it. It's too late to do anything. And then you keep asking yourself why, why something happens like this. I don't know, but we got to do something about it, see that it doesn't happen again. There are a lot of kids out there waiting to see concerts. Your kid. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about that all day. How's your cool? Great. Hey, uh, you want to try the uh, <clears throat> European Aquaman? Just what does this thing do, anyway? It'll fix a cold or <clears throat> give it away, one or the other. <laughs> want to try it? Whoa. <laughs> Feels weird, but good. Well, you like it? A black man in a mask in public. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think I'll use it at home. You know another amazing thing about all of this, Venus? What? Yesterday morning when I went into my office, I... Uh, I'd never been to a rock concert. Didn't like the music. I didn't know any of the groups. Completely... uninvolved. And now that's changed. One question. Are you going to change us back to elevator music? <laughs> we're a rock and roll station, Venus, and we're going to stay that way. Good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, so is Andy. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better get over there. Everybody be waiting on me. Do me a favor. Ooh. Take this for me over there, will you? You know, Venus, there's been a lot of talk about uh, setting up a commission to look into what happened here. Yeah. That's not going to be just talk. This town's going to do it. Oh, it's a good town, Venus. We're responsible people here. 